earlier in this newscast, we reported on the $2 trillion stimulus package and the stimulus checks that would go to individuals. But a big chunk of that is also earmarked for small businesses. Channel 2's Marianne Martinez reporting tonight on that money designed to help businesses during this time of economic turmoil. Marianne? Dominique, Swift and Company, which does event planning, has already had to lay off half of its employees. Now, just moments ago, the White House announcing that part of that relief package will be small business loans, which would allow small companies to keep their employees on payroll for up to eight weeks. We need money fast. I mean, for small business, timing is everything. Elizabeth Swift Copland is doing everything she can to survive coronavirus. The event planner has had event after event cancel on her for the next few weeks. We have called every utility. We've taken things off auto pay. We have made deals. She hopes small businesses like hers will be taken care of by the government coronavirus aid package, not big corporations. We employ so many people. So, um, you know, I would like to see a majority of the money going to small businesses because we are the heartbeat of America. In a kitchen downtown, what's left of the Irma staff is still preparing food to go. Irma's is offering 15% off all orders, but owner Nick Galvan says restaurants across Houston need more than what they can do for themselves. Our counter was booked. Um, however, that all died down when the fear of the coronavirus came in and then the shutdown, which was absolutely a hammer in the coffin, nail in the coffin. And we're hearing from so many restaurants that they're getting help actually from unexpected or from other sources other than the federal government, many pointing to Gro Governor Greg Abbott and his decision to allow restaurants to sell alcohol to go. They say after that happened, that made a huge difference for them in their sales. Reporting live, Marianne Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.